Aman 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 It might be a white sea bass Aman aman Get him I got him Is it one? It's a big fish Striper dog It's a big fish Let's freaking go baby this land is busted. Whoa! Oh yeah! Whoa! That's a big fish! Come on! That's a big fish! Yeah, boy! Woo! Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. <laughs> so let's just really quick. We were out there this morning, Sand Crab Classic canceled. Oh, it's a little cold. And windy. And windy. Well, we were supposed to be doing the uh, Santa Cruz uh, Derby and it uh, got closed out because of the coronavirus, but well, it is what it is. We'll make the best of it. <laughs> so yeah, the coronavirus put a damper on the Sand Crab Classic. We were planning on coming out here, fishing really, really early, and then heading up to Santa Cruz. All right, team, make me proud. Oh Striper. Striper today. It's gonna happen. Everybody's out buying toilet paper, and we're here stocking the freezer. You're watching Hook to Cook. Today's strategy, went well out the window, all the circumstances, and then another unforeseen circumstance is the wind. We're facing about 11 mile an hour wind. Yesterday, I've been there, caught that. Mark hooked it up. <laughs> he did what's called the puppy dog close, where you give somebody something, you let them hold on to it, touch it, feel it, enjoy it. Just like if you're trying to sell a puppy, you let somebody take it home and keep it overnight. He actually put this in my hand. This is the Phoenix Trifecta Light. 10 foot, it casts from 1 8 ounce all the way to 3 quarter ounce. So at the store, he put this thing in my hand and just left me with it. So Mark puts this in my hand. It's the Phoenix Trifecta Light. And he throws a van stall on it and he says he has to run and use the restroom. Why? <laughs> it's so tempting. Oh, geez. Only with backbone. Look at how straight that backbone is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Not holding it by the tip. And this is with this is with the Van Stahl. It feels really nice. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Jeez. Gosh, this is nice. What, what's up with the guides on this thing? They are very, very, very special guides also. So it just increases casting distance, huh? You got it. What it does is it makes sure that your line never touches your rod. Oh, I see. So because of that, you know, remember lines going like this. Yeah. It hits here, and then this will straighten it out a little bit and keep it nice and low. And then it goes to micro guides up there. What do you think about like an FG knot? Will it slide through pretty easy still? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, depending upon you. Yeah. <laughs> How good if we are I at tying FG if knots? If I tie a knot, it'll yeah. go through. Yeah. And then he gave a spectacular deal on it, like he would for you if you shopped there or shopped online there. Just let them know that you're part of the Hook to Cook family and they'll hook it up. But this is the Phoenix Trifecta Light. We'll see how it goes. It's pretty exciting to try this uh, with the van stall, super balanced. But check them out. Been there, caught that. Thank you, Mark and Tina. So we ended up meeting up at the beach. We thought it was gonna be super good. Turns out it was gonna be peak low tide by the time we went out. If this was the Sand Crab Classic, I think that could have oh won it. Oh boy! We would have had to leave like about Whoa. right now too. Right now would have been a time we'd have to take off, guys. Jeez! Definitely at least a 15 incher. I agree. If not maybe 16. I don't know. Be pretty close. I agree. Oh, oh my goodness! That's a giant. Despite the Sand Crab Classic being canceled, the high winds, the unfavorable tide, we thought nothing else can go wrong. But then the van stall says, hold my beer. The drag knob, I mean, 
it wasn't even at its loosest settings and it just kept on coming off and well and what happened was my line started spooling on that part and when i went to adjust it it just came off yeah that sucks we spent another like 10 minutes looking for it but it's gonna be impossible these waves keep on coming they're foam rollers so finding this drag tensioner is gonna be close to impossible it's like peak low tide too so it's not gonna get any lower to be able to find it later but damn it that sucks not even really sure how this video is gonna go but we got some suspicious feelings that there are striped bass here in our area let's fill them in a little more Mario. yeah i mean little birdie was out in the in the air today said there's some big fish out there today so we're jumping in the car again heading back up north just a little bit to try it out and see if we can pull anything we got some expectations but we're not expecting anything if that makes any sense <laughs> You want to say a lot, you want to expect a lot, but you don't want to jinx it. There's a fine line between saying you're going to do something, saying that we're going to catch these big old fish, and then it not happening. So we're going to keep it at that. So stay tuned. Something cool might happen. It's just, it feels like it. it feels like everything's just so out of the ordinary right now. Mm -mm, that looks good, Leroy. That looks real good. Man, it smells amazing too. What is that, Bob? <laughs> They're dipping the net. Buddy. I know, some Calvi venison with some sriracha. Buddy. Mmm. Mm. That's a fat boy special. We've done things that are so out of the ordinary right now, and we're gonna see if we can do something that rarely happens here on the Central Coast, which is to catch a striped bass. Okay, there. That's it. We said, we said it. it. We said it. We'll see you guys soon. It's Hunter! What up? My buddy actually caught one right in here. Hell yeah, let's, let's fish, let's bro. Let's fish right in here. It's kind of seaweedy, huh? It's so seaweedy. Like, Are those rocks accessible? Those ones right there? Would you get stranded out there? Uh, no. Nah. But it's gonna get pretty high, right? Like, like all this is gonna be covered? Area. Oh yeah, see right here. Standing on these rocks. Let's do it. When you come back, we just gotta make sure we come this way because that's deep. Okay. Like deep. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, perfect. Heck yeah. I can feel it. Perfect. Oh, we might get bit, bro. This feels good. Woo! Close. The birds are coming. Hunter just said, hopefully, they know something that we don't. The birds started circling for a little bit. We have to wait for a wave. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, if Striper come through, we'll get him. We'll get him. So I guess they caught the 33 on stock Kalisa. It's like 3.30. Mario. High tide's at 3.30? So it's like right now. Yeah. It's just a lot less seaweeds out here. Fish on. Oh, fish on. Oh, what'd I get? Smell. Smell. Smelt? Smelt, yeah. Perfect. I snagged it. Sexy smelt. Nice. So, you know what that means? Mario just caught a smelt. Every time we catch a smelt, there's a striper in the neighborhood. Yeah. And that's a fact. That's the perfect size, too. So, yeah, so. The bite might be turning on right now, so I don't know. What do you think? Keep going. Throw this on as bait? <laughs> Halibut. <laughs> yeah, but that's a fact, dude. Every time we get a smell. Yeah. There's a freaking uh, striper in the area. Yes, sir. Well, guys, 
Not looking bueno. No bueno. I got that smelt. And traditionally, every time we get a smelt, there's a striper. The day that Edward got his striper oh at Oceano, there was a smelt That's caught by Veronica. And then when Bob got his, a few uh, minutes before that, Chick hooked up on a smelt. So that's two for two on that situation. And I think we might go three for three, guys. Pelican! That pelican's looking! Ah! Tide's definitely lower. I'm on, 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 it might be a white sea bass, I'm on, I'm on, Did you get him, I got him, is it on, it's a big fish, striper dog, it's a big fish, let's freaking go baby, this land is busted. Whoa! Oh yeah! Whoa! That's a big fish! Come on! That's a big fish! Yeah, boy! Woo! Yeah! Oh, it's a striper! Striper, baby! It's a oh, striper! Holy shoot! It's a big one! That's a big one, boy! Oh, yeah! Oh, he hit close, too! Oh, my gosh! Oh, I wasn't even expecting that! Oh, boy! Oh, it's gonna be tricky to land, too, right here! Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, look at that lure. Look at that lure. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh! Look at that thing. Oh. Wow! Look at that Kalisa! Look at that Kalisa! Look at that Kalisa hanging out in his mouth! Woo! Wow! Oh my gosh! Bro, that's a 10 pounder! All day! All day! Woo! Bro, it happened! It freaking happened! It happened! Woo! Look at that Kalisa! Look at that Kalisa! Woo! Dang! This is why we came out here, boys and girls. Oh, but this fish is definitely not going to make it. This is why we use 4X strong hooks right here. Wow! Wow! 
It wasn't going anywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was worth it. It was a grind. It was definitely a grind. We were trying. How long, how long have we been out here? We've been like, here since 1.30, almost yeah. 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock and, and it's, it's five. 5. Almost 6. Oh. <laughs> 32 <laughs> inches. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah. 32 inch striped bass. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh man, it was a grind, but we got it done. She swallowed the Kalisa so deep that she definitely wasn't going to make it. But, oh man, this is going to be a great, great, great dinner for the next couple nights. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, we're going to get a weight on her. I thought it was a white sea bass for a quick moment. Over 10 for sure. Oh, 13, 1366. Oh my God, that's epic. 13 pound, 66, 13.66. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna kill it. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, I want to get another one, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Smelt life. Smelt life. When you catch a smelt, you're guaranteed. right. Guaranteed. You're three right. Three, buddy. And that's a fact. <laughs> Never underestimate that smelt life. Shoot. All right, guys, you saw that. Congratulations, Edward. That fish hit so close, too. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was crazy. That wave put the fish right up on the rock too. That was out of control. That was so awesome. So awesome. We were actually at the point of like, damn, we're like skunking hard. Not a bad way to break in this Phoenix. That's for sure. This is the Kalisa Mo um, Leroy let me this or, is the exact lure. Is, oh, it is, yeah, because I remember that little, that little spot right there. Well, we got back from fishing from that day. Me, you, Monica, all of us, we got back. Veronica. And then uh, you and Mario decided to go to a different location and maybe try for a striped bass. And uh, you didn't have a Kalisa. Nope. You didn't have a super glow. Nope. So you ran to the truck just as I was leaving and said, Leroy, Leroy, can I, can I borrow a Kalisa super glow? I said, yes, sir, I just happen to have one. So I gave you mine and danged if you didn't catch a nice big old striper. <laughs> but that same lure, I didn't I didn't tell him until after the fact, I posted a long time ago where I was fishing at Brown's Beast on, on Vandenberg and I was perch fishing. That's the first time I ever used the Kalisa Super Glow and something at the very end bit my lure, started peeling drag and bent my last hook of the treble on the back, bent it straight almost and uh, got away. So I'm thinking that was probably a decent striper, but I didn't know, I didn't see it, but that's the exact same lure. And then that's the one I gave Edward. And what does he do? Catches a big old striper on it. It was amazing. On his new rod, no doubt. The rod that I don't know if Mario remembers, but when we were in the garage and he was showing us the new rod before we went to Oceano that day, me and Mario both said, you're gonna catch a striper on that rod. We were adamant, man, you're gonna catch a striper today on that rod. And what does he do? He caught a striper on that rod. It was amazing. I'm so excited. I'm like so happy for you. Like, you needed it. Yeah, today was not the best day, but we got him. No. Yeah. It was rough, we had rain. It was a hard perch bite, and we needed some like redemption, and you got it. Yeah. I'm super happy for you. Striper yeah, dinner tonight. All right, guys, that was heart pounding. Epic night. I mean, this is what we did. We said, we set a goal, catch a striper, catch two striper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we beached him. <laughs> it's a striper, oh, baby. Sorry about one, <laughs> On that Kalisa. Kalisa life. It ain't a keeper, it ain't a 35. But it's a striper, baby. Come on. Let me get you. Oh, maybe not. Oh. 
Me and the keeper. I just want to take a picture with him. Yeah, do it. There's Look at that. No <laughs> <laughs> <One> picture. <laughs> and we did it tonight. So follow your dreams, guys. Do what you want.